Hi everyone, so time for another video. This one's gonna be a relatively quick one. It's just gonna cover automation stitches on the FortiGate firewall. So I've got my trustworthy ACF here. Uh, as always, left hand pane, automation. So let's just go over what an automation stitch is and what it can do. So everything starts with a stitch. A stitch must have at least one trigger and at least one action defined inside it. You can have multiple triggers and multiple actions. There's a few that come out of the box that might be useful for you. So you, there's one that um, is able to um, send a notification when the license expires on the device. Um, this could this could go out to a specified email address like what I have, or it could send a push notification to the Forty Explorer app. Um, there is a compromised host uh, one. So when a compromised host is found, um, this trigger can uh, kick off, uh, and with the with the integration of Forty Switch or Forty AP, you can actually quarantine the device. Um, or if you've got 40 client EMS, it can quarantine it um, inside EMS itself also. Uh, lots of uh, customers that I work with are, are using this one specifically. Um, so let's have a look at what a trigger is. So uh, the trigger is what um, you are looking for specifically. So I'm actually using these at home at the moment because uh, one of the leased line services that I've got here um, absolutely sucks. So I'm just monitoring uh, every single time that it goes down and I'm having it send uh, an email off to me. So if you look at one one SD1 event down, um, I'm matching based on this specific log ID here. Uh, the name of it is routing information changed uh, and I'm filtering based on the status being down and the interface being one one. What I've done is I've defined an action um, that basically matches that to send an email using the 40 net SMTP relay server to forward an email over to uh, my personal email every single time that my SD1 uh, one one interface goes down. Uh, I've also got the reverse of the reverse logic of that of send me an email when it comes back up. So if you look at the stitch. Um, close this one down and we look at 40 OS event log. You can see that I've got an SD1 route down, status is enabled. Um, I want parallel because I want every I want all actions to execute immediately. So the trigger has been defined. Uh, that's looking for the log entry that I just showed you and the, the filters that are defined. And the action is to send an email to my personal email address. Um, really quick video. Uh, just thought it'd be useful to go over this. Um, I see a lot of managed service providers um, trying to come up with quirky ways of uh, managing when license renewals and that kind of thing are, are coming up. Um, you know, you could simply define an email address to um, to fire uh, a reminder over to, um, or uh, or more on the enterprise size. If a device gets compromised, um, you could have an email or a push notification that goes to somebody's phone or your IT team's phone uh, or pager or whatever you want to call it uh, when uh, a device has been quarantined. So I just thought I'd show you um, what happens. So uh, for the automation stitch that I've got for the uh, static remote being added or removed on my SD1 interface, as you saw, uh, in the previous section, it's firing an email off over to my personal email um, every so often, and I'm using that to monitor the stability of the circuit while I'm out and about. Um, as you can see, the circuit's not very well uh, performing very well for a leased line at the moment. Um, so yes, good effective way of monitoring what's going on. So just to summarize, automation stitches, pretty... Um, Pretty cool features. Uh, I'm seeing them being used a lot around compromised hosts at the moment, sending emails 
when the licenses are coming up for expiry uh, or devices are going into conserve mode, that kind of thing, really, really useful. Means you can be out and about and just simply get a push notification to your phone using Forty Explorer or an email. Um, on this full uh, webhook support as well. So um, I've seen lots of uh, managed service providers doing integrations into Slack or Teams or you know, uh, proprietary systems that they have built. Please check out some of the other videos that are on my channel. Uh, I believe there should be 20. Now I'm posting around three a week. So uh, if you're able to stay in my ecosystem and, and jump between videos, that really helps me fight the algorithm and is very much appreciated. As always, thanks so much for your time.